Albuquerque's Gateway Center has been years in the making at this point. From the very moment voters approved the funding back in 2019 up until now, it's really just been a blank canvas. But today that canvas got some color with a new paint job and we got a better idea of the current progress on this project. Tamara Lopez was there today. Some volunteers saved the project and for that matter, taxpayers, Tamara, hundreds of thousands of dollars here. Yeah, Tessa, that's right. And there was a lot of work going on at the Gateway Center as it got its first coat of fresh paint and inched even closer to reopening for more than just the emergency shelter. The Gateway Center in Albuquerque got a little bit of a facelift Tuesday. More than 100 professional painters volunteered to give the center a fresh coat of paint. There's bad surprises and good surprises in our town. This is a great one. Mayor Tim Keller says the Painting Contractors Association chose the Duke City for its annual convention. Along with the convention, the group chooses a service project to work on beforehand. This is the equivalent of $400,000. That is a huge donation to the city and uh, material in labor and over a thousand two hundred painting area uh, hours. Volunteers will spend one thousand hours painting the Gateway Center. They were working on the new sleeping areas and the lobby. We were looking at opening our uh, medical respite center and our 24-7 emergency drop-off facility uh, late spring. Right now we are using this as an emergency homeless shelter uh, during the cold months. The mayor says the donated paint job will help make the facility more inviting. And so does all this new bedroom furniture waiting to be placed in its newly painted home. Are you getting any content? With the painting taken care of, the timeline of opening its doors to more of our homeless population is becoming more clear. This facility already helps about 300 people every day. So we're moving from 300 to about 500 this summer and then hopefully 1,000 sort of next winter. The mayor says the new paint was possible, possibly not in the budget, so the city is very grateful for the donation of time and supplies, and he says he expects the facility to open on a rolling basis within the coming months. Tessa.